Lingo kids, what's fluffy and loves to purr? That's right, a cat. And today we're going to draw one. Ready? Get a piece of paper and a pencil and let's start. Let's begin with the cat's head and body. Cats like to sleep a lot, 12 to 16 hours a day. So we're going to draw our cat lying down. First, we'll draw a boot shape with rounded corners. With the high part of the boot on the left-hand side of the paper, make it nice and big. Now, let's draw the face. Start with the ears. On either side of the head, draw a triangle and then a smaller one inside. Good work. Now the eyes and nose. For the eyes, draw two big circles and then a smaller circle between them for the nose. Next, draw two smaller circles inside the cat's eyes to make the pupils, which go bigger and smaller depending how much light there is in the room. And if they want something from you, they'll make their eyes very big and cute, like this. <laughs> in the smaller middle circle, draw a little stick man with a round head no arms, and very short legs. You've just drawn the nose. And hey, did you know that every cat's nose is completely different with its own pattern of lines and bumps? A cat's nose is like our fingerprints, the pattern on the tips of your fingers. Amazing, isn't it? Now for some whiskers. On either side of the face, below the ears, draw two little fingers making a V sign. Great whiskers, Lingo Kids. Cats love scratching things, and what do they use to do that? Their paws. So let's give our cat some super paws. At the bottom of the body, just where the curve stops, draw an uppercase D shape, about the same size as the nose, and then in front of it, draw another D, but this time facing the opposite way. Perfect. Great job! Now your cat has a nice pair of paws. You know that when a dog wags its tail, it's happy, right? Well, not cats. They move their tail when they're annoyed. But we're going to draw a happy, relaxed tail on our cat. Start at the bottom of the body and draw a curved line that goes along under the body up to the level of the paw. Then curve back down a little and follow your line right back to the body. That's one relaxed cat. Listen to it purr. Great work. You've just finished the shape of your cat. Now for the colors. For crayons, you'll need black, gray, and pink. Use the pink crayon to color the small triangles inside the ears and the small circle inside the nose. Use the gray crayon to color the nose and the two paws. <laughs> and use the black crayon to color the cat's entire body, the two pupils, and the lines inside the nose. You can leave the rest of the eyes white. Great job, Lingo Kids! You just finished drawing your cat. Thanks for watching and drawing along with us. Parents, your child did great. We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels. There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo families around the world. Just tag us. See you next time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel now so that you don't miss a beat. And for more play learning fun, head over to the Lingo Kids app.